In this lecture, you're going to learn about ng after content checked lifecycle hook, which gets called after ng after content init hook. So this ng after content checked hook, this gets called after ng after content init hook. Now the ng after content checked lifecycle hook, it gets called during every change detection cycle after Angular has finished initializing and checking projected content. Now we have learned the same thing about ng after content init. So ng after content init lifecycle hook, it also gets called after Angular has finished initializing the projected content. Then what is the difference between ng after content init and ng after content checked? Well, ng after content init lifecycle hook, it only gets called during the first change detection cycle after the projected content has been initialized. But this ng after content checked hook, it gets called during the first change detection cycle and also during every other change detection cycle. So during the first change detection cycle, when the projected content has been initialized, that time this ng after content check will be called. And every time the projected content changes, in that case also, this ng after content check will be called. Let's try to understand this with an example. So here I am in the demo component class. If I go to the view template of this demo component, here we are using this ng content element. And for this ng content, we are projecting content from the app component.html. Currently, we are projecting this paragraph element from the parent component. Now, in this paragraph element, what I will do is I'll change this paragraph text and I'll say user has entered following text. And then here I want to use the value which the user has entered in the text box which we have in the web page. For that, in the app component, we have this input well property. So I want to use the value stored in this input well property. I'll use it here. So now every time this input well property will change, this projected content will change, right? Because the content of this paragraph element will change. And whenever the projected content will change, it will call ng after content checked hook. So let's go ahead and let's implement that lifecycle hook inside this demo component class. And the lifecycle hook name is ng after content checked. And this lifecycle hook, it is provided by after content checked interface. So let's also go ahead and let's implement this interface. And in order to use this interface, we also need to import it from angular slash co. And since this list is becoming a little bit lengthier, what I'll do is I'll move these imports in separate lines so that it will be more readable and it will not go outside of the screen. All right, now let's scroll down and inside this ng after content checked, let me go ahead and let me write this console.log statement. And in here, let's say ng after content checked called. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So, here you can see the new projected paragraph user has entered following text and after that there is nothing because currently in this text box we have not entered anything so this paragraph has been rendered here let's open developer console okay and here you will notice that after ng after content init hook has been called after that the ng after content checked hook has also been called and just to make this more readable what i will do is I'll go ahead and I will comment this console.log statement. I'll also comment this console.log statement. And let's go and let's comment all these console.log statements from other hooks. For now, we will only keep this ng after content in it and ng after content checked. Okay, let's go back to the web page. So you will notice that ng after content in it hook has been called, and after that, ng after content checked hook has been called. So once this demo component will be rendered in the web page and there the paragraph element, the projected content is fully initialized. It is going to call ng after content init lifecycle hook. And it is also going to call ng after content checked lifecycle hook. Now, if I go ahead and if I type something inside this text box, let's say hello. And when I click on this submit button, the paragraph content will change. That means the projected content here will change. So now the paragraph has this content. That means the projected content has changed. 
and when the projected content has changed you will notice that ng after content checked hook has been called but ng after content init hook that has not been called because as we learned this ng after content init hook will be called only during the first change detection cycle when the projected content is initialized after that if the projected content changes the ng after content init hook will not get called but this ng after content checked hook this will be called during the first change detection cycle and after that every time the projected content changes now what if the projected content is not changing but the change detection cycle is running whether in that case this ng after content checked hook will be called or not let's see that so if i click on this submit button now the projected content will not change but the change detection cycle will run so in that case what do you think whether this ng after content checked hook will be called or not let's see that let's click on this submit button so the projected content has not changed but you will notice that in that case also even though the projected content has not changed the ng after content checked hook is getting called so keep in mind that the ng after content checked hook will be called for every change detection cycle just like the ng do check but the difference between ng do check and ng after content checked hook is that ng after content checked hook will be called only after the projected content has been initialized checked or updated currently when we clicked on this button we have not initialized the projected content and we have also not updated the projected content but we have checked the projected content so when i clicked on this submit button a change detection cycle run and before running this ng after content checked hook it checked the projected content whether it has changed or not i hope this point is clear also angular updates the properties decorated with at content child and at content children decorator before raising the ng after content checked hook let's again try to understand this practically so here when we enter something inside this text box and when we click on this submit button the projected content is changing basically the paragraph element which we are projecting from the parent component that is changing and when that paragraph element is changing in the demo component class we have a property called para content and to this property we are assigning a reference of this paragraph element which we are projecting so when this paragraph element changes that updated paragraph element should be assigned to this para content property by this content child decorator so this happens just before this ng after content checked hook gets called so let me go ahead and let me log the value stored in para content property inside this ng after content checked if you go to the web page okay let me clear the console here and inside this input element i will type some value maybe hello so currently if you see when this paragraph element is logged there we have only this text user has entered following text now when i click on this submit button the paragraph element will change that means the projected content will change so that new paragraph element that will be assigned to this property to this para content property and that should be logged here so if i click on this submit button you will notice that that new paragraph element has been assigned to the para content property and that has been logged here if i change it to let's say hi and then again if i click on this submit button again that has been logged here now you might say whenever i am clicking inside this text box this ng after content checked hook is getting called why is that that's because if you remember in one of the lectures on this input element we binded this focus event now when this focus event happens we are not doing anything but whenever this focus event will happen angular will run the change detection cycle and whenever that change detection cycle is running it is calling the ng after content checked hook now here the message is wrong so here in the message it should be in ng after content checked okay but keep in mind that this ng after content checked it will be called for each change detection cycle even if there is nothing changing in the ui and before this life cycle hook gets called if the projected content has changed 
the updated projected content will be assigned to the content child property or the content children property. Now, just like ng after content in it, Angular raises ng after content checked hook even if there is no projected content in the component. The ng after content in the hook is called after the projected content is initialized. And ng after content checked hook is called whenever the projected content is initialized, checked, and updated. That means this ng after content checked hook is called during the first change detection cycle when the component is created and the projected content has been initialized. It also gets called if the projected content changes. And it also gets called when the projected content does not change but the change detection cycle has run. In simple terms, we can say that this ng after content checked hook will be called for each change detection cycle. So in that way, it is very similar to ng do check. The only difference is that the ng after content checked hook will be called only after the projected content has been initialized, updated and checked. Now, one very important point to note here is that the ng after content init lifecycle hook and the ng after content checked lifecycle hook, these two lifecycle hooks are component only hook. These two hooks are not available for directives. Keep this point in mind. So this is all about ng after content checked lifecycle hook. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.